An Abundance of Catherines is a young adult novel published by American author John Green in 2006. It follows Colin Singleton, a former child prodigy, in his efforts on a road trip with his friend his son to find his eureka moment to break out of being a child prodigy and be a full-fledged genius. For those of you that have been with me a while, you'll know that I, myself, am an author. These, these five books are mine. Uh, these three are novels. And I'm also a long-time uh, nerdfighter, which nerdfighter means a fan of the Vlog Brothers on YouTube, which John Green is half of. John Green has been a huge inspiration to me as a writer and probably one of the biggest reasons I became an author. That out of the way and that being said, this is John Green's worst rated and worst well received book by far. It has the least amount of copies sold and it is the only one that is not made into a movie or a TV show. Now I'm not saying I don't like it, on the contrary, it's probably, it's my second favorite John Green book just behind Looking for Alaska. And I'd say it's probably actually tied with The Fault in Our Stars. The reason that many people say is it's worst is that it's in third person, it doesn't involve any tragedies, and um, it lacks inspiration. That's not me, that's what other people say. But to a certain extent, I would actually agree with the last one. There isn't exactly the same amount of heart that goes into this one that goes into like The Fault in Our Stars or Looking for Alaska. I'd also say that about um, Paper Towns, but unlike Paper Towns, I find this book to actually be pretty fun. That's actually the uh, thing that I think saves this book for me and that I think other people should realize. It's just a lot of fun. Not every book needs to be incredibly deep or have one of the main characters die. Although An Abundance of Catherine lacks inspiration, I would definitely say that it thrives in character. I love all the little formulas and graphs that are spread around through this. Um, I have a free few hours every morning at work, so I listen to a lot of audiobooks, as which which is what I did with this one, but I kept the physical copy nearby so that I could um, flip to the certain page and see the formula or the graph or the list or whatever it had, and they're really interesting. It's a lot like Infinite Jest, and I'd really like to see John tackle something like this again. It has been a very long time though, but I can hold out hope. The main characters themselves are a breath of fresh air as well. Although the main female protagonist is your stereotypical like manic pixie teen dream girl, she's not so much that as like uh, like Alaska or Margot, definitely. She's very strong and independent, and I would honestly call her a good role model for teenage girls. I also really dig the strange chemistry in between her and Colin. The ending is a little bit lackluster, and you, you aren't really left feeling like you read a masterpiece or with any questions, but I mean, that's okay. Not every book can be a masterpiece, and you can just kind of end a book uh, satisfied, you know? John Green really breaks his style in only a second book, and I'd like to see him return to this one day. Maybe take a break from bringing me to tears, you know? So, in the end, I'm gonna give this a, I don't know, 7.2. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other reviews.